Now, sorry about the poor lighting in here, but it's the best I've got to work with inside my truck right now when it's raining out. And I've taken the canopy down, so we're now indoors for the night. <laughs> Unfortunately, let's see, it's still 39 degrees out there. It hasn't gotten any colder, but uh, based on the forecast, they're uh, saying there's a chance of uh, one to three inches of snow, and I had to take the canopy down just in case because, well, <laughs> you, even an inch of wet, heavy snow will collapse a canopy. So, trust me. Unfortunately, I know from experience on that. So, anyway, a couple of products I wanted to talk about tonight. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about is that UCO candle I bought. And I picked this up at Northwoods Outfitters in Moosehead Lake when I was there uh, in, the early, in early March. I haven't really had a chance to test it other than lighting it quickly and making sure that it actually lights. That's about it. But let me show you uh, what this looks like. Alright, so this is the candle itself. Kind of a neat design there. This hooks up here and you can Hang it up any place you want. When you're ready to use it, you can pull it up like that. And you see the candle in there. Kind of an interesting design to it though because it's spring loaded. And pull that out, release that, and you see there's a spring there, and there's the candle popping out. There's the actual candle that uh, runs in it. That slides in there. The little base goes in there back into the base there somehow there we go let's get uh, a window on here so once it's loaded in there you can well there we go you can actually see the candle inside the window I know it's kind of hard in this light what will happen is as the candle burns it'll raise up burns up the wax the wax not the wax the wax <laughs> Burns the wax up and uh, you don't have the wax dripping everywhere like you would with a uh, regular candle. They also claim that it puts out uh, about 1900 BTUs of heat while it's running. So, we're going to light this up and see if it actually warms the truck up any. I'm gonna light it. And actually, uh, the metal pot up, I can push the glass tube back down again. Take a lighter. Get it going. Put the last tube back up again. Maybe. There we go. And now you can feel heat coming up from the top of it. I'm going to shut the light off. See, it even puts out a little light. So I think it's going to be a kind of a, a neat little addition here. So I'm going to let that burn for a bit. Light back on again. As you can see, it's currently 54 degrees in the truck. So let's see what the, the uh, candle does. See if it does any uh, any impact on the temperature. If nothing else. It will at least create a nice little uh, ambient glow. <laughs> so let's see what it does, though, shall we? You can definitely feel heat coming off of it, so we'll give it a try. Okay, and the other product I want to talk about tonight is the portable fridge. This is kind of an interesting purchase they've made this uh, just a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think it's going to be really useful to have something like this on all these trips I'm going on. I don't have to bring ice along anymore. I don't have to pack the cooler like I did. In fact, this can be packed up the day before. I'll have to plug it in and I can just grab it and load it in the truck. In fact, I'll be using this all the time, even when I'm at home. That's part of the plan here. I actually had a small dorm-style fridge that died on me earlier this year. Uh, one of the larger type. And I was going to buy another one. And I decided to get this instead. Because I can use it while camping. I can use it at home. If I'm not at home, I don't need it anyway, so it's going to be turned off so I can save some electricity that way. So I'll have it with me. Uh, that's kind of interesting. It's, it's, it is a a cheap Chinese made one. Um, I bought it at Amazon. Now normally when you see these things, you see like the Dometics and things like that, they're pretty expensive. Four or five, six hundred dollars for them. 
And the the new ice call ones coming out look pretty interesting, but they're also up in the uh, four hundred dollar range. I really did want that ice call one with the uh, dual zone on it, so you could actually have a freezer section. But uh, I really didn't have the money for it. But this one showed up on Amazon, and I've read some good reviews on it. It's uh, it's a like I said, it's a cheap Chinese made one, but it is a real portable fridge, not one of those thermal electric ones that just uses the Peltier uh, device in it. That only can cool down to about 40 degrees uh, below the ambient temperature and have to run continuously. This one's got a real compressor on board. So it's off more than it's on. And from what I've read online, it only draws about 55 watts when it's running. It also has an economy mode that draws about 40 watts when it's running, but I'm not really sure the point of the economy mode. It's going to be running probably a longer amount of time because it's, if you're cutting the power consumption down, it's also going to cut the cooling potential down. So it's probably going to have to run longer to make up for the difference, which means it's probably going to end up drawing about the same amount of power. Like I said, this one came from Amazon. Price on it at the time I bought it at Amazon was $240. And there was a coupon on it for $15 off, bringing it down to $225. And $225, I was having a hard time passing it up, so I bought it. <laughs> uh, the manufacturer is Joy Tutas, I believe it's pronounced. I'll put a link to the Amazon page on in the description. But you can see it's got quite a bit of room in there. Uh, plenty of food storage for me, anyway, for a solo person, solo traveler. Just tall enough to fit a uh, quart-sized bottle of milk in there and a small bottle of orange juice and a few other things. Hasn't had any uh, major problems uh, staying cold. Uh, even comes with a USB port to uh, <laughs> charge devices off of it if you need it. A uh, uh, couple of complaints with it. I mean, obviously, it's being as cheap as it is, it's made out of some pretty cheap plastic. So it does, it definitely feels cheap, but it looks nice. I like this metal finish on the cover and that. It's got magnets in the cover too to help keep it shut. So that's good. It's not very heavy. It's actually quite light, even full of food. It was easy to carry around. It was actually easier to carry around than my regular cooler was. The other complaint with it, though, is a kind of a big one. It's the temperature reading. I actually have it set to, uh, let's see, unlock it. Let's see, I've, oops, press and hold the button, unlock it. And see, I've got it set to 25. That's not how cold it is inside. The food inside is about 35, so it reads about 10 degrees colder than the actual temperature. So that's where you have to set it to get refrigerated temperatures around 25, which is unfortunate. But uh, that's well, something I had read online about it before I bought it, so I knew that was going to be an issue. And those reviewers were absolutely right. But outside of those issues, this thing works well. I'll post a follow-up review on it uh, towards the end of the season there to see how it's doing, see if it's still working, things like that. Anyway, like I said, I'll put a uh, link to the cooler or refrigerator in my in the description there so you can check it out on Amazon yourself if you're interested. Otherwise, like I said, it's, it's, it's for the price, it's worth it. Especially if you can get that $15 off coupon. Get it for $225. And it's not too loud. I wish it would turn on on cue here so you could hear how loud it was, but it's not too loud. It doesn't wake me up while I'm sleeping or anything, so, so I'm... I'm enjoying it, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting more use out of it. Unfortunately, this trip is being cut short. Biggest problem I'm running into is that uh, with the cloudy skies, I didn't get enough charge off the solar panels. I actually had to end up running my engine today to charge the battery up because that refrigerator is drawing it down so much. But Oh well. Anyway, let's take a peek back at the uh, candle, see how that's doing. Still producing lots of heat. Uh, plenty hot in there. Temperature of the car has gone up a degree, so that, that could be me too. <laughs> I'm generating heat too, but uh, we'll see. It's actually already warmed up in the vehicle anyway because uh, I had the engine running earlier. Turned the heat up to full blast so it warmed the truck up without having to turn on the uh, propane heater. So that's it for, for tonight. I know this light is awful. <laughs> Let's beep again.